first you have to download a terrain height map. I like the ones from Motionforge Pictures, but I'll link some others in the description as well. Then go into Blender, add a plane and subdivide it a bunch. Create a geometry node setup, add a set position and combine XYZ node and plug the combine XYZ into the offset. Then add an image texture node, open the height map and plug the output into the Z of the combine XYZ. Once you do that though, you'll immediately notice that the coordinates are way off. So to fix that, plug the vector into the group input, then go over to the modifier, click the input attribute toggle and select the UV map. Now we need to find the correct scale of the terrain. And unfortunately, a lot of the time we have to just guess. For this one, I would think the mountains are about 1,500 meters high. So I multiply the height map and adjust what I'm multiplying by until I reach my desired height. After that, set the XY scale of the plane to the same value that you multiplied by and apply the scale. Some height maps aren't perfectly centered, so they may shift up and down while multiplying them. To fix that, just add another math node in front of the multiply and add or subtract what's needed to keep the landscape from shifting. If you want more detail, which I do, just add a subdivide mesh node in front of the set position and increase it as high as you can. Now with the geometry done, let's quickly go over the textures. So we will create two layers, rock and grass. First, mix together lots of grass textures using some noise, making sure that their color generally matches to prevent a splotchy look. To do this, you can also use hue saturation value nodes to adjust their colors. Then cranking the bump and reducing the specular to 0.01. Afterwards, do the same with a few rock textures, but for them, leave the specular at its default. You'll also want to switch the coordinates of all textures to object, reducing the scale and setting the projection from flat to box, as well as blend to 0.3. To copy these changes to all textures, you can select all of them, making sure that the updated one is active and right click, copy to select it. Note that sometimes you need to make the scale of the textures way larger than otherwise realistic because else it can look a bit bad. Lastly, to blend the two layers, add a geometry node, separate the XYZ of the normal output and use the Z passed through a color ramp to mix in the rock. To make this look a bit more natural, you can also use the rock textures for a bit of displacement, which will roughen up the transition between the layers. You should now have some good looking terrain. So now it's time to scatter some trees, rocks and foliage and do whatever you had in mind for your scene. As for the trees, I've created a blender add-on called Tree Machine, which contains six different tree species that can help you with that. The link to it is in the description. But yeah, thanks for watching.